Hey, I'm Adam. I'm Brian. Back with another episode of Buds and Suds. So we're still going with the awesome whale share night. <laughs> Big night. It's like a marathon, guys. You don't want to be here. You just don't want to be here. Yeah. But we're taking one for the team. Exactly. So this is Red Wine Barrel Mexican Cake. Yes. 2016. Uh, it's Mexican Cake. I mean, you know what this is. Westbrook. Uh, awesome. Yeah. And not much else to say about it, really. Yeah, if, you, if you're watching this, 10. you know. 10.5%. I mean, you know Mexican Cake. I've never had the Red Wine Barrel, though. So. No. So we've done normal Mexican Cake. Have we done the advance? I don't remember. Yeah, I'm not, not sure. a good time to ask. Oh, we did a bourbon barrel. Did Wine, we? I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we okay. did. You guys know better than we do. <laughs> um, but this one actually is getting some um, some hype. This one is one of the better uh, variants from this year that I've heard of. Mm -hmm. They also have a maple syrup one that's getting crazy numbers. Oh, but, that would be awesome. Um, but this one's getting some nice numbers, so uh, let's see what we get. All right, let's do it. Pitch black. Oh, and thanks, Adam, for sharing this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holds the glass, not much has. The aroma. Cinnamon. It smells peppers. like peppers. Yeah, it smells like Mexican cake. Yeah. I smell cinnamon. I smell. So much cinnamon peppers. Vanilla, chewy breadiness. Yeah, I, was say, I, I get love the, that. I get vanilla, I get chocolate, and cinnamon. It's like, it's cake. Really I good. mean, it smells like a nice dessert bread. It just smells really nice. Cheers. 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 I mean, I don't it's really good. The only thing I, I just don't get the red wine. I was gonna say the same thing. I mean, I, I get big cinnamon, mm -hmm. but not the red wine character. I think this actually tastes better than the base beer for and maybe it's what the barrel does to it. Maybe, but I couldn't tell you which barrel this was. So much cinnamon, maybe a hint of fruitiness. Yeah, I was going to say, when the cinnamon starts to subside, I kind of feel like I get something. I, I wouldn't have said red wine, but so we've been, we've had a Huna, we've had a couple others that have just that sherry flavor to it. I, I just wonder that if that's maybe Grand what we're Voodoo Negro. <laughs> Holy crap. Yes. Um, but maybe that's what we're getting. More spice than what we've had tonight, I think. Yeah, that's big spice. Big hit of pepper on that one. But when we had, so we reviewed the just the regular Mexican cake, which I brought back um, like two years ago, yeah. and that was huge spice. Mm -hmm. This is big spice, but not quite as big, so I kind of feel I like... I think it mellowed it. I yeah. think it mellowed it. But I, I mean, I, I agree with you. I think this tastes better than the base beer because it mellows kind of those big peppery aromas. I, I think that beer was like pepper, 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 pepper. Yeah. But this mellows it, but I just don't get like... It's not a bad thing. I'm not wanting to taste a big, like, sour red wine or anything. Um, I think it just it mellows it out. Yeah. It's nice. I think maybe I get a little tannin from it, just a hint, but I would have never guessed it was red wine. I would have just said oak barrel or something. Yeah. It's, it's really good, though. It's solid. Four, I get three, three. Okay. I was going to say between a four, three, three, and a four, five. Um, I think four, three, three is a fair number. Yeah, four, three, three. Four, three, three for both of us. The epic share night continues. I don't think we're done yet. Maybe. I think we have seven, six left. Six. It's demoralizing. Put it in a good way. <sighs> Anything else? No. As always. <laughs> you can't the beer you love. Love the beer you have. Thanks. 